Hi everyone, so I am back with another video. This is going to be an empties video. I feel like these empties have built up for quite a while and my recycling is due, so I thought what better time to do this video than now. So I've got a big basket at the side of me here, so I'm just going to kind of pick from it and go through what I have used up lately. So the first one that we have here is just this Dove Original Deodorant. You all know these are like feature regular in my empties videos i think i have a couple more in here actually this is a new scented one that i got this is the refreshing summer ritual with aloe vera and rose water scent this one was a really nice one i love the scent of it that one actually says limited edition so that was that one um, and then I have another deodorant, which again is one that has been featured before. This is the Shua Invisible Aqua 48 Hour Deodorant. You all know my usual deodorants are kind of like Shua and Dove and things like that. Then next up, we have dry shampoos. So we've got a Wilco dry shampoo, which actually was not bad. I've tried a lot of dry shampoos in the past um, and some of them have been absolutely horrendous. I kind of just grabbed this one on the go. I wasn't anywhere um, like to pick up these ones. Um, and I'm sure this was like literally only 99 pence or something, which is not bad actually. It's 200 ml, but it's only like 99 pence. The fragrance of it smells really, really nice as well. And it actually did a great job. So if anyone's looking for a cheaper alternative to the Batiste, I definitely recommend the Wilco Dry Shampoo. Then I have two of my trusty old favourites. These are the Batiste Dry Shampoo. This is in the scent Blush Flirty Floral. To be honest, I tend to just grab any when I go. Um, this big one, this is actually 350ml, where the, the normal one's like 280 But this big one was on offer in Superdrug, I think, so I grabbed that one. But you all know I absolutely <laughs> like, look at all of them. <laughs> that's just deodorant and dry shampoo that is crazy but yeah you all know i'm a huge fan of batiste dry shampoo and it is one that i always 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 go back to right moving on okay so we have these two um, and i'll just move them out the way we have these two body scrubs from primark these were from primark they were three pound fifty each so i got the one in kiwi mango and the one in fresh peach these smelt amazing as for being body scrubs i would say definitely not they are far too fine like they're not really like a scrubby scrub um so that was a shame but like i say the fragrance of them are absolutely amazing i love the fragrances but i wouldn't buy them again just because i don't know if you can see here yet the sugar on them is like it's too fine like the scrubby scrubby when i have a body exfoliator i like a bit of a rougher one um i feel like these were just too too soft and not only that they were um i feel like there wasn't enough of the scrub stuff in I, it just felt more kind of liquidy when you scooped in and pick it out it felt more liquidy than anything else so 10 out of 10 for the fragrance of them absolutely amazing but i definitely would not repurchase them and i wouldn't recommend them if i'm being completely honest then we have used up this is a hair and scalp anti-dandruff shampoo and i'm sure if you look at it it's basically a rip off of the head and shoulders the reason i ended up with this is because i actually thought it was the proper head and shoulders i didn't realize until i got back home that it was just an off-brand version of it um i wouldn't recommend this i would like much prefer to go for the actual head and shoulder shampoo this is more like a um like the shampoo itself was more like a gel texture it was like it was really thick and wobbly and just no i don't really recommend that one either i think i got that from it was either home bargains or b and i'm not entirely sure then we have also used up this dove shower mousse this is the one with acai acai oil or something like that this was really nice it smelled absolutely gorgeous as well it's a um like it comes out as a mousse but if you can hear 
like it feels like there's literally about a quarter of a bottle left but nothing pumps out anymore so i think that is a shame when there's still product left in but it just the mousse thing just does not pump anymore um but again that was really nice i would definitely try them again and i'm sure they've got them in different scents as well next up we have the johnson's baby shampoo no more tears um my youngest son uses this he's not a baby he's nine by the way um but this works fine for his hair and i have used it a few times when i've had hair extensions in and i don't want to kind of damage the bonds or anything on them so this is a good one for that as well you all know i'm a huge fan of the johnson's line i absolutely love it another hair thing now this does still have like one use left but i just thought i'd feature it in this anyway because it's going to be gone soon anyway this is the olaplex number three um and i have been using this quite a lot um i don't know if you guys seen my instagram posts maybe it's a couple of months ago or something my hair was literally falling out in clumps um it seems to have settled down a bit um I don't know what it was. I had blood tests and things. Nothing kind of showed up in that. I have like been trying like new medications and things. Um, so it could possibly have been side effects of things of that. But like I say, it does seem to have slowed down. Thank God. Um, my hair is still in a com complete state. But I've been using this to just kind of maintain the health of the hair. Um so yeah i really do like this i'm sure you've all heard of all the by now anyway i'm gonna take that out because i'm not actually gonna bin that this one you left of that um then i used up my liz earl instant boost skin tonic you all know i am a huge fan of my liz earl products i tend to get them in gift sets for christmas and i have my new one open already the same as this one this is the cleanse and polish hot cloth cleanser from liz earl again absolutely gorgeous love 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 it speaking of that cleanser this is an aldi version this is supposed to be a dupe for the Liz Earl one. This is the rose one. I loved the scent of this. I'm a huge fan of rose scents. Um, I think I got these in a set of four for like, maybe it's five, six pounds. I can't remember exactly. Um, but I do really like these. If I'm being completely honest, I do still prefer my Liz Earl one. Just after I use my Liz Earl one, like, the cleanliness of my skin it just feels so clean and so fresh this does a really good job if you are wanting something on a budget then i would recommend these ones and obviously these come in different scents as well and this rose one is gorgeous then i used up <coughs> excuse me just a conditioner this conditioner just came out of a hair dye packet and um, we just used that up always using conditioner i go through loads and then I finished up this Thousand Christmas Wishes um, body cream from Bath and Body Works. You all know I love Bath and Body Works and this is actually one of my favourite scents from then. I love it. I love, love, love it. I know that Bath and Body Works is available in the UK now from Next, but we don't have the full range and we certainly don't get them for prices like you guys get them over there. So I'm so jealous. Right, then we have the original sauce, the tingly mint and tea tree. You all know these are featured religiously in my empties products as well. Um, next up, we have this secret Outlast Sweat and Order Plus Almond Oil 48 Hour Invisible Solid. So it's an invisible solid antiperspirant. Now... Erin sent me this in our swap and I absolutely love it. Like there's literally, I mean, I think when I rolled this up, like it literally just popped out. So there's, there's like, yeah, so that's it. It's done. It's gone. But I absolutely love this deodorant. I really, really need to get some more. Um, I know like last year I posted on my Instagram because somebody on a Facebook group that I was on was... Um, an air hostess or something and she was taking orders for products from the US and things so I asked her to get me some of these um, and she sent them to me and they were the completely wrong ones this is kind of like a white solid block the ones that she sent were like a clear gel and they're just not in the same league as this as well so 
next time I do a swap with Erin, I think I'm definitely going to ask her to send me some more of this because I love it and the smell of it is absolutely amazing as well. Love that. Next up is my trusty little deodorant as well. This is the Perspirex Original Extra Effective Antiperspirant Roll-On. Love, love, love. That's always a repurchase of mine. I always get that from Boots. Um, so, yeah, if anyone's interested in that, that's where I get it from. Next up, I used my Liz Earl Eye Bright Soothing Eye Lotion. I wasn't a huge fan of this, if I'm honest, but like I say, this did come in a gift set. I tend to get like a gift set of Liz Earl things for Christmas. I usually ask for it off my sister or something like that. Um, I did use it up, but I wouldn't necessarily go out and buy this. Um, I think if I'm going to have something soothing for under the eyes, I would prefer it to be a cream or a serum, not a lotion. This just literally felt like I was putting water under my eyes. So, yeah, not a huge fan of that one. Um, what else do we have? I've got quite a few little bits in the bottom here. Next up, just another um, conditioner that was out of a hair dye packet. I used that up. Um... Right, this next thing I absolutely love. This is another thing that I got off Erin. This is the Laneige Sleep and Care Lip Sleeping Mask. This was like the tiniest size ever. It was 2.5 grams. Oh, not even in frame. It was 2.5 grams, but this lasted me forever. And you can see I've literally used everything. The smell of it is absolutely amazing. I used to put this on my lips every single night before bed and I would wake up in the morning and have the softest lips ever. I love this so, 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 so much that I actually purchased the full size. And I ordered it from TikTok shop and I was a little bit wary at first because I know people have said they've bought things from TikTok shops and it's been fake and things like that. Um... But yeah, I think I've got the real thing. I did keep this one and I did check the consistency of them, the smell of them, the performance of them, and they're exactly the same. But I did manage to buy the big one from TikTok shop, like I said, and it was only £10. So absolutely love, love, love. I'm so grateful that Erin sent me all of these amazing things for me to try out because most of them I've absolutely loved and I've found new favourites in them. So thanks, Erin. <coughs> God, I'm so sorry, guys. My throat literally feels so raw today. Um, next up, we have three little minis of the MAC Strobe Cream. Um, these are like little 6ml samples that you get when you do MAC orders. What I did with these, I squeezed the three of these out and I popped them in like a little disposable um, pump bottle to put in my freelance makeup kit it was just easier that we have sick of having all like the little bottles and things even though they are great for um carrying in a freelance kit because space and weight yeah but i squeezed the three of them out and i just popped them in a little um disposable pump bottle which is in my freelance kit so that was those um i have actually used up a few mascaras um this time okay so i used up this milani highly rated mascara i got these in a swap as well and um, it's all completely dried out it's gone all bleh. this was actually an okay mascara um so i will probably repurchase that one next up we have this honest beauty one and um, this is like a double ended one so on this side you had mascara and it's got one of those kind of like rubbery ones um and then on this side you had kind of like the white priming thing i was not a fan of this mascara at all i just couldn't get away with it like i usually really like these rubber um brushes i feel like i like the rubber brushes more than I like a normal like standard mascara brush but this just did nothing for my lashes absolutely nothing at all um so I wouldn't repurchase that but it's so nice to try new stuff out anyway then my holy 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 grail covergirl lash blast volume mascara I have none left at all I have no backups or anything so I am super sad um it's completely dried out um but yeah we can't get this here in the uk which is like a nightmare i always get this in the shade of very black as well 
again if you're an og on this channel you will know this has been my holy grail for years i always 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 rave about it <coughs> And then these three that we have here, these are the Grande Mascara Conditioning Peptide Formula. I can't remember if I got these in a swap off Erin or if I have gotten them from somewhere else. But I went to try them and unfortunately they are all dried out, which is such a shame because like I say, I love to try new things. And I think when we all get things in beauty boxes and stuff, um, like subscription boxes, if it's something that we ourselves won't use, it's really nice to include in swaps and things. But unfortunately, they are all kind of dried out and a bit gunky. So I never got to try those, but never mind. Right, next up, I have a lot of brow pencils. Um, <laughs> yeah. And they're all from the same brand. So I have five eyebrow pencils that I've used up here. And these are all the Primark PS Brow Sketch in the shade brown. Um, I kind of alternate between using pomades and pencils. But I would say for like literally the last year, I've used pencils. I love it. I love the effect it gives. So these are like double-ended. You have the little spoolie here. And then obviously you have... The product which it's all gone but it's just the, the like twist up and it's a tiny little pencil these are only two pound each um so yeah love them i do really love them obviously it would be more cost effective to use a pomade these don't last a really long time but then i think for the sake of two pound like you can't really go wrong i love them i actually carry these in like my freelance makeup kit as well. I love them. They're that good. And they do come in a variety of different colours as well. So I've used all of those up. Um, then what else do we have? So I am getting rid of this. This is the More Brows by Model Co. This has gone like really gunky and stringy now. It is far too light for me anyway. Um it's in the shade light medium i do have the darker one of this and i do actually like it it's a really nice product and i think i got this in like a, a subscription box a long time ago i don't actually get any subscription boxes now which i think i kind of miss i like i miss and i don't sometimes like sometimes i feel like they get a little bit repetitive which is a shame um and then yeah i don't know like what is the best beauty box to get in the uk now like i used to subscribe to glossy box was the main one that i used to subscribe to and i think i like i had a couple of birch boxes and stuff one time but i don't know i feel like they've gone downhill like i always watch kind of um ipsy and boxy charm unboxings from everyone from the us and i am so jealous at what you guys get in your subscription boxes like you you get palettes and things like eyeshadow palettes face palettes i just feel like i feel like the uk needs to catch up in that sense i, I feel like the us beauty boxes are so much more like exciting than the beauty boxes that we get here um i would actually love to do a swap with somebody right like listen to this this just could sound like the craziest idea ever but this is what i was thinking I would love to do a swap with somebody in the US, somebody who subscribes to Ipsy or BoxyCharm or whatever it is over there. And then I would subscribe to a UK beauty box over here. And then what we would do, we would just kind of collect them all and then put them all in a big parcel. And then say at the end of like six months, so when we've got like six months worth of beauty boxes, send them to the other person. So I would be getting the US ones and then the US person would be getting the UK ones. I just think that would be so exciting, like, packing in six beauty boxes and then when the other person gets it, like, opening six months' worth of beauty boxes. I just think that would be so good. But seeing that, the way prices and things are of postage and everything, it just might not actually be worth it. But, yeah, anyway, enough babbling. So, eyeliner. This is a Cynthia Rowley eyeliner. And, again, this was from a beauty box that I had. But if you can see down there, like... It's completely dried out and it's like, can you see? It's just completely come away from the actual pencil. So that is going in the bin. I mean, other than that, it was a really nice black eyeliner. It was super black, super creamy, and it lasted really well. Next up, I'm getting rid of this MAC um, 
was this a dazzle glass or was this a cream sheen glass like the writing's rubbed off i think it was a cream sheen glass but it was in the shade fashion scoop um this one came in a set of four like one christmas or something does anybody know if you can back to mac this size of product like i know technically it is a smaller one but i know that mac do like the mac travel size things now like they do the little 30 mil um fix plus and things like that so can you actually back to mac those ones or is it just the full size because it's still a mac product i don't know if anyone knows let us know um then we're also getting rid of this studio 10 this is like an eyebrow pencil so you have your color on here and then your highlight on here this is a bit too light for me and it has completely dried out it's really really hard to work with now so being in that then i have this ardell medium brown brow pomade i loved this but it just completely dried out like it's literally not even worth reviving or anything like that now um so yeah like i say i do alternate between pomades and pencils but this ran out and then i was just in primer one day and i thought you know what i'm going to try the brow sketches i'd heard lots of people talk about them and then since then i've been hooked um <clears throat> also getting rid of this collection glam crystals dazzling gel liner i love these but as you can see it has completely dried out like they're literally like three pounds 3.99 um i feel like collection is a brand that's actually slept on they do have some amazing products um and lately i know everyone has been raving about the collection um filter finish which is supposed to be a dupe for the charlotte tilbury flawless finish um i do actually have that um so i'll give it a try and i'm sure you will see that like in a in a video soon or something um so yeah moving on again i am getting rid of this real techniques brush this is like the little eyebrow brush but you can see it's completely broke so yeah and i've had that for the longest time i do love real techniques brushes um next up again we have something from lizelle this is the gentle face exfoliator i love 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 this this is really 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 good for the skin i will always repurchase this and again i do have another one on the go already um so this is probably like well this was my number one face exfoliator but i'd say over the last six seven months i have discovered liquid exfoliants and i am using the paula's choice one it was just a 30 ml size that i got in a beauty box and i absolutely love it so although i do have one of these and i will still continue to use this i did get this in a set at christmas yeah i'm using the paula's choice one at the moment as well and i absolutely love it i do highly highly recommend it so easy to use and it makes my skin absolutely amazing um next up we just have two of these charcoal nose pole strips love those so satisfying when you peel those off then i have a strawberry bliss scented hydrating facial sheet masks these are lovely these were in a set from home bargains love 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 then this one i'm sure i got this in my swap from erin as well this is an acure Acure, yeah foil time firming gold foil mask loved this my skin felt super duper soft afterwards so i love that thanks again erin then i have a little pack just of these kind of like gel eye pads that you get to put underneath your eyes love those they're just nice refreshing and cooling um another one from erin erin i'm so happy that you sent me all these kind of like trial size products in our swap because literally I love loads of them. Um, this is the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. Love, love, love. Then I used up this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And this is basically all gone. Might be like a little drag in there. This is okay. I know everyone raves about it. It is a good primer, but um, I don't think it is the best one ever for me. Um, but I would definitely repurchase it for my kit and I just think if I was a little bit, uh, I don't know, to me this just seems like a lot of the other silicone primers that you can buy. So nothing is particularly stand out for me on this product, if that makes sense. Um, but I mean, this is a good size to try it out. It's 7.1 mil, so I did get quite a few uses from it. Um, but I probably would try it again. I know that they do have... Um, 
a lot of different primers in this range as well this is the original photo finish but i know that they've got like a green tinged one and everything as well obviously for redness and things um but yeah i used that up as well then i used up some lashes these are just in the style 405 i think these were superdrug's own brand lashes they have gone um also used up this elf long lasting lustrous eyeshadow this doesn't actually have the shade name on but this is the gold one i have used a boatload of this as you can see but it is completely dry now and i just think for the price of these it's not really worth kind of trying to revive them or anything um but yeah it's it's just completely dry but i loved these shadows absolutely love them and would definitely repurchase them um next up we have a few fragrances so we'll start off with the little sample one first this is linted it launted it by givenchy um i don't know where i got this sample from i'm presuming in a beauty box or something the thing with fragrance at the minute i have just basically been sticking to perfumes that i know because ever since having covid um i have contracted covid twice now i have had covid two times um my smell is still not back to 100 percent. so i just don't have my full potential of smell um so yeah anyway so i can't i feel like i can't give a proper review on this because i don't know everything just seems to smell the same to me um i have used up this one though this was one that my kids bought me for i think it was either my birthday or christmas this is the ted baker one and this is the w one is it w m w i don't know but it's this one anyway um i think this retails for about 10 pound a bottle or something and this is the 75 ml bottle sorry this smells absolutely amazing and i use this as my everyday perfume like i say i know what this smells like so i know whether i can smell it or not it is a nice smelling perfume and i do highly recommend that one it's such a cheap alternative for like everyday use as well if you don't want to use your most expensive perfumes but it still smells absolutely great um next up i did use up this juicy couture one this is peace love and juicy couture i've had this for the absolute longest time you can probably tell by the dust on top there how disgusting am i um this is not one of my favorites from the juicy range i love juicy couture perfumes my favorite one from juicy couture is the juicy couture 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 that one i absolutely love the scent of that one and i do also have the viva la juicy one which i have purchased for years and years and i did have another one and it was in a pink bottle like a metallic pink bottle was it viva la juicy noir something like that that was an amazing scent as well i got that years and years and years ago for christmas and my son knocked it off the drawer and the whole top of this like spilled off and the perfume kind of evaporated but i do love that one as well but yeah this one peace love and juicy couture it's not one that i i don't think i would go out and repurchase this one again it's just not the typical juicy smell for me i feel like all the juicy ones that i love are really like sweet smelling I feel like this one was a lot more fresh than what I'm used to, so I'm not 100% on that one. But I just used it up because, like I say, I've had it in my collection for the longest time. And if I'm being, my, being honest, my youngest son, he absolutely loved these little things that come on perfume bottles. And this one came with a cute little um, lid with a green bra bracelet wrapped around it as well. Like, he always, always, always collects my, like, empty... Like, if it's kind of a posh lid with, like, a diamond on or something like that, he collects them. And now he's saying he wants this. But, like, there's no way that this is coming off here. It's completely stuck on. But, yeah, that's what he's into, collecting all of his little trinkets and things. So, that was that one that I used up as well. Then I also used up... Oh, I'm so, 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 so sad that this is gone because these we cannot get here in the UK and I'm absolutely devastated. So I have used up the Tree Hut Sheer Sugar Scrub in Coconut Lime. Um, Erin sent me this in our swap and I've got to tell you, I am obsessed with Tree Hut Scrubs. I really, really want to get some more. Um, so hopefully if we do a swap in the future we can swap some more of these um i know i just showed before the primark scrubs that i bought 
do not get them at all if you ever get the chance to get anything from america or do a swap or a trade with anybody from america make sure you ask for some tree hut sugar scrubs this scent was absolutely amazing i loved it like the um the scrubby bits in it are like really really strong scrubby so you know that you're getting a really good exfoliation on your body scent's amazing texture's amazing it just feels absolutely gorgeous on the body and the scent lingers on your skin after which i love as well um tree hut do like loads and loads and loads of different scents this one is coconut lime and i did like it um but i definitely definitely want to try some different scents in this next time so highly 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 recommend this um love them i definitely definitely want to get some more and then the last two products that i have are candles and i don't really know why i stopped featuring candles and wax melts and things in my empties because i still go through absolutely boatloads but i think i've just kind of been binning them without realizing so if you are interested to see what kind of scents i still burn and candles and wax melts let me know and let me know whether you would want me to just include them in the normal empties like i do now or whether you would like me to kind of do an empties video on like home fragrance candles wax melt if you want something separate like that i don't know let me know but anyway i used up this yankee candle in the scent spiced orange you can see it does have a bit left in here but the actual wick itself has burned down i know it's still standing up a little bit but when you burn it the flame just goes out um so what i tend to do when these are like this i'll just pop some boiling water in and then this will kind of melt and rise to the top and then when the water's all cool you can break it and then i use this in the um the wax warmer to use that um i don't know is it just me i really feel like yankee candles aren't what they used to be i mean look at the black smoke around here for starters and i do always trim my wick as well um so yeah you can see here this one was like 50 percent off i got this from york outlet last year i think it was and this was only 12 pound um i did actually go back to york outlet um just recently actually and i did have a little pop into the yankee candle shop and everything has just gone up so much in price like obviously york design outlet is an outlet store prices are cheaper anyway um but yeah last year i got this for 12 pound i know it says almost perfect but there was nothing wrong with the candle so i don't know whether it was just because of the frosting or because it was the scent range or whatever but i got this for 12 pound and this is a large jar these normally retail for 25 when i went just recently in the sale these large jars were 18.95 now call me a tight ass or whatever but i don't think 18.95 for a large yankee candle jar is that cheap at all um i just feel like everything has gone up like massively um yeah it's just crazy like it's not just food and everything going up it's literally like everything so yeah i used that spiced orange one and then the last one that i'm going to show you is another one that i got off erin and i'm so sad that it's gone and i've got to say these are my most favorite candles even over yankee candles and everything and these are the bath and body works candles this is the white balm one and this is in the scent spiced gingerbread i mean for starters look how cute the packaging is can we just take a moment for that it's absolutely sensational i love the jars that these come in as well like i feel like you can totally repurchase these you can with the yankee candles as well um so you can still repurchase the jars and things but i love these um these are the three wicks i've burnt them down all the way at the go you can see there is still some left in the bottom but again same process as that i'm just going to break that out and then i can melt that into my warmers that way you use every single scrap of your candle um i can smell this already it's just absolutely amazing so yeah you all know i love bath and body works candles and these burn beautifully as well like they're just there's no kind of pool or not anything like literally they burn it down absolutely perfectly i love them so so much i don't even know like does anyone know what kind of wax bath and body works uses is it soy wax or 
I don't know. I can't really see on there. But anyway, this was spiced gingerbread. And I love how in these candles as well, they put the fragrance notes on as well. So it's all right just saying spiced gingerbread, but it breaks it down. It's got vanilla ice and cinnamon sugar, fresh ground nutmeg with essential oils. I absolutely love these candles. And they do. They literally... Every single Bath and Body Works candle I've had, I think, has been like perfectly all the way around. There's been no wax pools or anything like that. Um, love, love, love. So, yes, that is everything that I have used up lately. Like I say, let me know what you want me to do with kind of candles and wax empties. Do you just want me to kind of feature them in these empties? Or would you prefer if I did kind of separate videos for wax and home fragrance empties? I don't know. Let me know. Because I feel like I have just completely been binning everything lately. And it's such a shame because I love to look back on these videos and find out which scents I loved and which ones I didn't. Um, it's just a good reference point for me when I'm buying things again um so yes that is it for this video um i am slowly getting back into making my videos again i have had a horrendous time lately um i just want to say thank you to all of you for reaching out and checking in on me and the boys we are doing as well as can be expected um but obviously some days are better than others i have suffered massively with my mental health I've had major, major, major setbacks. But, you know, we've just got to keep strong and just try and keep going for the sake of my boys. So, yes. Um, so, as always, just thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.